Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. Now for tonight, it's gonna be, and I'm gonna pronounce the name as best I can, Amstino, Amstino, A-M-A-N-S-T-I-N-O, wireless Bluetooth smartwatch. And again, just like all my unboxing and review videos, look in the description box below the video where you can find the link for this exact same product. Before we open it up, let me run over a couple specifications like I always do with my unboxing and review videos. The CPU on this is MTK6260A. RAM is 128M plus 64M. Supports 32 gigabyte max TF storage card, so micro SD card. I'll also link that in the description box below. Again, maximum 32 gigabyte. LCD is 1.54 HD IPS, 240 by 240 pixel. Touch panel is 2.5D Radeon, capacity touchscreen OGS. Camera is two megapixel. Battery is 400 milliamps, palmier battery. NFC wireless business card exchange information sharing. G sensor supports pedometer analysis, sedentary remind, sleep monitoring, anti loss, remote take picture, SMS transfer, news, virtual client system settings information, schedule, synchronize remind, set synchronization. Something that this watch does have that others don't a metal frame. A metal frame, guys. So keep that in mind. Strong and durable. Ultrasonic sound, captivity closed aluminum film, listen to sounds of nature, has a silicone strap, and the thickness of the whole machine is 11.8 millimeters. Does have a variety of colors, so again, look in that description box below and click on the link for the other colors if you guys are interested in purchasing other colors. This one is the black and silver, and so without further ado, let's go ahead and open that guy on up. Nice little packaging again, just opens up. And of course, there's a little film on top of there for protecting. So let's go ahead and get this watch out first. And let's go over the boring stuff real quickly in the package here. We have what appears to be a nice flat, again, flat charging cable. I like flat cables. Again, guys, not the round, the flat. This is micro USB, the same charging device as your Samsung your note devices, other Android type devices. Again, micro USB. Looks like a nice long cable there. That's a solid three foot cable, easily a solid three foot cable tip to tip. White and black on the tips and again, a white cable there. Here we have what looks to be, guys, another battery, unless the battery is shipped without it inside and I believe it has slipped out of the little protective thing here, unless this is protective film, what looks to be protective film maybe for your watch to keep your watch in good condition. So it looks like it comes with protective film and then the battery, that's either an extra battery or the, they shipped it without the battery and it looks like the battery was supposed to be in that plastic container there. We have an instruction manual here and now that is empty there. Real quickly, let me see, we do have it in English, and it looks like it's in Chinese and English, and so that's always nice to have a thorough instruction manual, very nice. You pair it up to all the fun stuff, and we'll go through most of the specifications and some of the cool features. So here we have the clasp down here at the bottom, so let's go ahead and unclasp that and we'll go ahead and pull the watch out. And again, that's a nice silicone band, guys. Very nice. That's definitely gonna be sweat proof and water resistant, etc. for when you're jogging. Very nice. Packaging is done there. Very, very cool, guys. Again, we'll get close-up shots of all this, don't worry. There's the watch right there. We do have some plastic film on it. Let's go ahead and get that plastic film off real quick. All right, plastic film is done. And then we have more plastic film here. We'll go ahead and rip that guy on off there. Very, very nice, guys. Very good, good looking watch here. And it does look like we have another little piece of protective film. So that's up to you guys if you wanna leave 
that secondary piece of film on there after you pull that one off. There is another protective film to prevent scratching. Let's go ahead and put the watch on real quick and then we'll get some close-up shots here. And my wrist is actually decently small. So for women, this might be a problem because I'm on the last band notch and the watch is actually still a little bit loose. And so I might have to get a watch band hole poker and poke one more hole. It is cold where I am, but that is definitely a little bit loose. So women with very small wrists, this might, this band, particular band might not fit you. Again, it's a little bit loose, but not bad. But that might be a little bit bad for when you are running. Again, I'm on the last latch there. So let's go ahead and get some close-up shots. We'll turn it on and we'll take a look at it and see what she looks like. And again, just an overall good looking watch here. As we come over here to this side here, there's our USB charging port there. You would just undo that little slot there. There we go, you would just lift that guy on up there for your micro USB charging port. And again, that would close back down for when you are not charging it there. Coming around again to the band here, very nice silicone band down here as well. Again, you might need a watch shop they would probably do it for a dollar or two, just poke a couple holes in there or just get a tool on Amazon, poke some more holes in there. And again, I see a little slot here. That might be for some of the electronics, so I wouldn't really mess with that. I'll look at the instruction manual there. And then it says NFC here. I'm pretty sure those are just logos on the band there. And then just a plain backing there. But as we come around to the front here, I do have the film protecting the screen here. We have our camera up here with what looks to be our mic hole and then our speaker hole down here. And again on this side is our one button here that probably turns it on. Now before you guys get started in turning it on, again that extra battery that I thought was an extra battery is actually the battery shipped without the battery connected inside it. So what you're gonna do on the back here, just take your fingernail and right underneath this little edge right here, you're gonna go ahead and just lift up and the back just pops off just like that. I've already inserted my battery. So here is the top right here, the camera. You're gonna turn it around, face the battery exactly like this, heading this direction where the prongs, there's gold metal prongs in here. Slip it in this way first, then push it down this way so it's nice and flush. Then go ahead and put back on your covering here. On the back of the watch, it kinda of just kinda of clips into place here. And now you're all set. Now we'll go ahead and turn the watch on. Just hold this button down here. Smart watch right there. And it fires up with a little music there. And a very, very, kind of hard to pick it up on camera, but a very clear, beautiful screen right there, guys. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and pair up the watch here. So I will be pairing this to an iPhone 6. Now you will have full functions with your Samsung devices, your Android devices, but you will have partial features with your iPhone. Again, iOS, it does work, but only partial features. Again, this is the partial features one. I believe this is about $10 cheaper than the other one. Again, this is the silver color. It says, iOS partial functions in parentheses, again, the silver one. And so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go into your discoverable devices under your Android. If you're in iOS, you can go ahead and go to other devices, Bluetooth in your Bluetooth menu. And right here we see Q18. Go ahead and push Q18. And again, it might just take a little bit of time to connect. And there we go, Bluetooth pairing request. The watch lit up and it says it would like to pair with your iPhone, confirm the Q, confirm that the code blah 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 is shown on the Q18. So let's go ahead and see and my phone that I named after my company matches that so we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And now I'll go ahead and hit pair on the iPhone and my phone is connected. It says right here connected, very very nice. All right guys, and on the menu here, it says Q18 connected. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into our menu here and we're gonna test out, 
Let's go ahead and just fire up right off the bat. Let's go ahead and fire up some Pandora music. All right, guys, I connected it to Pandora. Now I want to show you what the watch sounds like during playing. Again, this is internet radio. I've tested this out on my iPod music on my iPhone and also the internet radio. So it's streaming and then non-streaming. And at first I had a little complication because the volume on my iPhone was full blast. The speaker couldn't output the volume, so it was very like scratchy type of like broken up type of music. And at first I was like, oh man, the speaker is busted. Well, then I got a notification on the watch that says prolonged high volume, and then it kind of cut off like midway through the message. So I lowered my volume to about, I'd say about 80%, replayed it, everything works fine. So if you do get scratchy type of music, lower your volume. Again, this didn't affect it on a phone call, it affected it on music for some reason. And again, this is with BT Music. Okay, here it goes right here. Prolonged listening at high volumes, detrimental weather, and then it kind of cuts off when, I think when, and then it kind of cuts off and you just push okay. Anyway, let me play a little bit of internet radio for you here. That's Calvin Harris song. Don't want to play too much. Don't want to get a uh, copyright strike. So anyway, guys, plays music perfectly fine again over iPod or internet radio. But again, lower the volume of the player. So let me go ahead and turn it up a little bit to about 90% here. Still plays it fine. Just don't put it on 100 and you'll be okay. You don't really need to jam it out too loud. Anyway, all right, next, well, what we're gonna do here is let's go ahead and make a phone call on it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So again, guys, this is all on an iPhone 6. Now let me go ahead and show you guys the dialer system here. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Alrighty there, we have the 1-800 number right here. So all my call logs are coming up. Again, this is with both Android and iOS. And you can go ahead and change when it goes to sleep how fast that does as well. Let's go ahead and call that one back here. 1-800 number. All right, let's go ahead and load that guy on up and let's go ahead and call that one. We'll go ahead and call. You can text message, save to phone book right here. Let's go ahead and call that BT call, Bluetooth calling. All right, right here, guys, take a look at that. And that one came right over the watch didn't have to toggle anything very nice you can put it on mute you can put it not on speakerphone kind of speaker or like non-speaker you know so it's a little bit louder again there's your reception there or there's your volume there of uh, the speakerphone your contacts all that kind of good stuff again all your contact numbers. Again, all your contact list is right here. We have, uh, you know, missed calls and all the other stuff. Anyway, guys, we have four screens here. We have one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, you can't download apps to the watch, but you do have plenty of plenty of good options here. So we could go ahead and swipe left all the way. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you a few little cool little features here. So again, we click on our button here and then it dies pretty quickly here to save on battery, etc. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and just click that. Now if you're on this menu here, you just start from the right and cross over and then you'll head into the menu here. And then you have your you know calculator, your messaging system, your phone calls, your settings, all that kind of good stuff here. So let's go ahead and look over a couple different options here. Now again, you can put a SIM card in this and you can use this watch as a phone too if you wanna use this for a straight phone and ditch your regular phone. Again, here's NFC. You go ahead and scan that barcode and you connect via NFC. You have your note system there. You have Tumblr, Facebook, currently unavailable. I believe a lot of these features for the iOS don't work because you need a BT notification app to make them all work. All right guys, due to this watch having partial functions here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the functions that do not work. Again, the Bluetooth camera, you will need to download the Bluetooth 
BT Notifier. Unfortunately for iOS, those apps are pretty much junk unless you can find someone that uh, has developed a new app. So that does work, but you will need the BT Notifier. Again, for your Samsung devices, Android devices, that works fantastically. People uh, have apps that they use for that. The Notes does work, NFC does work, Facebook does not work. Tumblr does not work. Um, this does work for outdoor or indoor settings. This right here is some phone thing here. The world does not work there. As we come over to the page number two, the penguin, insert a valid uh, SIM card. The uh, memos, you can actually do memos. You disconnect BT Music if that's on. And if you don't have a memory card, you can actually go off of your phone's uh, memory on your phone, so that's really cool. I tried that out. Again, messaging, you need to insert a valid SIM card. This one here, you have to download the BT Notifier. Music here, here we go. Here's the internet radio again. This is the streaming the music there. That works fine. And here we are, the world clock here. I have it set on Los Angeles time. So it was set to Beijing time, but I've changed it to Los Angeles time. Here we have, we have to disconnect BT Music. This here is the FM radio here, and you can listen to your radio. Here we have like another QR code thing here. Uh, coming over here to, again, more music players, but you gotta disconnect BT Music. Here is a nice, really cool reminder here for if you've been sitting too long, you can set this and it'll go off. See, it's on here and it'll vibrate a ring on you to get up, and so you can stretch your legs a little bit. Here is the video right here, and that is actually shining straight up to my lamp there up above. And you can record straight onto your phone if you don't have a memory card in there, which is really cool there. And here we have monitoring sleep time. That's really cool, guys. We have no messages there. That again, you have to kind of hook up to your BT notifier. Here is your pedometer there, which is really cool. And then let's see what else we got here. Here is your different backgrounds here. I checked them all and the flower one is the best. And when I mean flower, it's that background there. And so again, guys, here, right here, this little paintbrush, that changes the different backgrounds. But again, the flower one is the best. Here again, we have Bluetooth. And the name of it again is Q18. Here we have alarm clocks there. And here we have the phone calls right over here again, like I showed you guys. It's so definitely some cool features. Now here in the settings button, this is in the first menu here. The setting button here, you have phone settings. This is where you would change the time and date and all that type of good stuff here. We'll look in that. I set it to Los Angeles and you can set format for military time or etc. Now schedule power, that was a little bit interesting. I'm not really sure what that was. Language here is number three. So if for some reason your watch is set in Chinese right off the bat, mine wasn't, mine was English. And preferred method of input is smart ABCs, etc. And as we come down to display number four, this is where you would have screen auto lock. Again, you have option of 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, or off. And I prefer off so that if I am exercising, I can just glance down. It will drain your battery quicker, but I like that. Theme settings, again, I have it on flower there. And we go to flight mode here, normal or flight mode there. And as we go down to handwriting settings, miscellaneous settings, let's go ahead and take a look at that. LCD backlight, here we have the brightness. I have it at three. You can raise that up to five, or you can go all the way down to two or one, et cetera. I'm gonna keep it on three. And connectivity, call settings, et cetera. Security settings, game center, uh, pounds, insert valid SIM card. I'm not really sure what that's about, but anyway, game center here, insert a valid SIM card, et cetera. And so definitely some cool options. Again, we have calendar, calculator, contacts list. Here we have our photo gallery there, which is just one little photo of the ceiling there. And here we go looking iPhone anti-lost makes noises. Now I went about 40 feet away from the watch and it disconnected and it made this like really cool like beat music. So here guys in our camera again here, we have video settings, normal video quality, good high, sharing video, normal, good, high, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it a high, save that. Uh, options again, we have white balance, effects, storage, default, default settings, 
memory card or phone, etc. And then you just kind of like snap away there. So here we're doing video right now. And you stop that. And then you can play that there. So here we're doing video right now. And you can hear my playback of my voice. Very, very cool, guys. EV night mode anti flicker, 60 gigahertz. You can switch that to 50 or 60 night mode on or off, etc. So, definitely some cool features in this watch, guys. Let me show you. Start from the top and head straight down, just like an iPhone. And you come up to notifications. You come here to outgoing, Bluetooth. You have mute. You have airplane mode here. Uh, disconnection. So, again, when BT is lost, when Bluetooth is lost, it plays this trance music. Right there, again, we're going to crank that down. We're going to turn airplane mode off. Right there, we connect back to it. And again, brightness, you can go ahead and control that right there. So, that's kind of cool. And then you just flip that guy back on up. Again, messaging and outgoing calls are right there. And again, it's kind of hard to tell guys on camera, but this is very crisp and very clear. A lot different than another Bluetooth watch that I tested out on my channel. Again, the quality is very, very nice, guys. Alrighty, guys, again, a very, very cool watch. I'm definitely impressed with it. The build is very, very nice. Again, a metal frame, which you don't see many smart watches like that. They're mostly plastic around the edge, etc. Clarity is fantastic, guys. It's a good watch. Now, again, the only thing you do have to be considerate about if you do have a small wrist, you might have to have a watch shop pump a hole in there. But definitely don't switch bands because, again, the band has the NFC technology in the band. So you want to be careful about that, guys. Also, again, look in the description box below for this exact same watch. Again, this is the silver color where it's kind of gunmetal gray, silver right up here on the top with the black band. They do have a white one, I believe, and they also have a black one fully. Again, the seller is linked down below in the description box, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, for your Android phones, just download BT Notifier, like I mentioned in the video. Full functions, messaging, etc. But with iPhone, you can take calls, receive calls, etc., 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 like I showed you in the video, guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe. I got a lot more unboxing and review videos, and I have a lot more products being sent to me for review. So again, pick up your watch. Hope you enjoyed the video, and take care, guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.